Conversion is everything. At every listing opportunity you go out today, you need to win 90%. Let me ask you, on a scale of one to 10 with your listing presentation, is it a 10? And if it's not, what are the areas you need to work on and improve on? Last year I was talking to a client, he went out to four listing presentations and he lost all four of them. He gave me the call and he said, Claudia, I think I need to sort of recreate my listing presentation and rebuild it, etc." And we got together. Anyway, after four weeks analyzing and reviewing his listing presentation, I took a couple of key takeaways that you need to improve on. Number one was, when was the last time you role played your listing presentation? And he said to me, he couldn't remember. In actual fact, the last time he practiced his listing presentation was in someone's lounge room. Can you imagine that? You're practicing in someone's lounge room your listing presentation, $15,000, $20,000 worth of commission. So here's the thing, think of it being a pro. And I always look back at Kobe Bryant's podcast I listened to last year. And he's been interviewed and they're asking about his work ethic and his training ethic. And he said that he does 800 hoops a day. And the guy said, 800 hoops a day, Kobe? And he said, yeah. How long does that take you? He said, four to five hours a day. And he goes, do you really need to do four to five hours or 800 hoops? Why couldn't you do like maybe 100 hoops? And he said, I take this very seriously. He says, when I'm given an opportunity at the free throw line, I've got the team's responsibility to get the full three points. So I can either win the game or lose the game. The question is, are you thinking like a pro, like Kobe Bryant? Or are you walking into listing presentations and just winging it? Because winging it ain't gonna get you very far in this market today. So that was number one. Role play your listing presentation three to four times a week. The other thing that we worked out was, what are the most common questions that your clients and customers ask you in a lounge room? Like, do you actually know? Have you ever written them down? If you haven't, I dare you to go and write every question that you know that your customers ask you. A client the other week said to me, well, the most common question I get asked all the time, Claudio, is how's the market? Well, here's the thing. I said, well, what did you respond? He said, oh, the market's great. We had our auctions on the weekend, Claudio. We sold four out of four, 100% clearance rate. Two of them sold above reserve price, etc." And you know what? A lot of agents do this which is talking. We tell, but not show. You see, people make decisions based on trust. 49% of it actually, that's the stats from Google. My question to you is, how are you gonna demonstrate that? And he said to me, well, what would you have done, Claire? I said, well, I would have just gone like this. Hey, you know what, Tom, that's a great question, how's the market? Let me just show you how the market is going right now at this moment. Well, pull out a paper with your facts and evidence and show them. This time last year, Tom, there were 24 listings in Smithville, in your area. This year, there's only 12 listings. So that's half the listings compared to last year. So what that means for you, Tom, is that there is still a high demand of buyers out in the marketplace, but supply is quite low. So what we're finding is we're getting great numbers coming through. Let me just show you my OFI book from last weekend. In our open for inspection book, we had 45 groups come through this property. So we certainly see the demand is really high, but the supply is really low. And that goes back for you, Tom, meaning that you'll be able to achieve a really strong price. So when you start to demonstrate to people how the market is with facts and evidence, not just talking, that's how you start moving people into action. So two takeaways that I want you to think about right now about getting a conversion of 90%. Because if you're not thinking like that, you're not thinking like a pro, you're starting to think like an amateur. Go away, start role playing your listing presentation. And number two, remember, show, don't tell. Did this video serve you? You can do one of two things to continue your journey of growth. You can join me at claudioncena.com where you'll find some training resources, sign up for our weekly newsletter, and join us on our social media platforms. I look forward to connecting with you in our next video.